all right hello everybody so what i've got here is a a cometa air rifle okay um cometa is a spanish company um and uh it's a pretty good rifle from what i've noticed so far if you just kind of take a look the bluing looks really clean uh this is called the cometa fusion i don't know if you can see that right there but uh and then the barrel has like this looks like a air stripper on the end of it i don't think it really does anything uh but i do know that the barrel is shrouded inside and it's this is a steel shroud it's it's pretty heavy duty um now the trigger right here it is two stage it is adjustable it ain't bad at all uh i have i have a hawk uh vantage scope on it uh not the ideal scope uh but it is mill dot reticle uh, it does okay i mean it's, it's probably not the yeah it's not ideal but uh, i do plan to change it out later on but if you guys ever get a chance to buy one of these or find one and uh you know all i can all i can say is uh just get it uh it's it's a really nice rifle um, the workmanship on it and everything as far as like the mechanics the way you cock it uh, the firing cycle uh, That's another thing the firing cycle is super super smooth uh, because it uses a gas ram and uh, The guns fairly heavy. I don't know the actual weight on it, but uh This it can shoot and I, I've noticed so far. It does like shooting JSB exacts 8.4 because this is a 1.77 caliber and uh it is shooting it right around 850 feet per second which is ideal for pellets uh in most instances uh but that jsb pellet it just likes that one the best and i tried crossing premier ultra mega domes the heavy ones it didn't like those i tried other pellets uh it didn't like those either but um, what I what I must say though is it is the build is I want to say it's definitely like a notch a notch above like any gamble that you're gonna find and this is technically an entry level brake barrel it's it's like a it, this is an affordable they call it an affordable brake barrel and I've seen them go on sell for about 280 260 somewhere around there uh, 300 on a high end uh, brand new. Uh, and if you look right here, this is also imported by Air Force International. So if you guys are familiar with the PCP Air Force uh, rifles, that's the company. Uh, they're out of Dallas, uh, Texas. Uh, but they, you can't order this from their site. It'll be like a special order. Um, I got this one really cheap, uh, like at an estate sale. I think I paid like just just a little over 200 bucks for it. And it's it's in wonderful condition. I mean, if you look here on the back side, you know, it's it's definitely ambidextrous uh, stock by looking at it. And uh, the scope, uh, well, like I said, it's a vantage scope. Uh, it does have that adjustable uh, parallax on the on the end on the on the bell up there. But um, the only thing, another thing I notice is down here where you put the arrestor pin. For most of your scopes that have that arrestor pin, well, the one in here it's very small. Most of your arrestor pins are going to be oversized. Uh, I don't know what Cometa was thinking when they did this, or maybe they have some special pro proprietary uh, setup that they use. But uh, I did have a BKL mount on there, and that does work. Um, but so far, this one has been holding up just fine, you know, and I, I've tightened it up to the specs that it needs to be at. Um, it is not a mag. I don't know. Well, I guess you can say it's somewhat like a magnum brake barrel. It, it's a uh, 15 foot pounds of energy, um, on average with JSB pellets at 8.4 grains. And I've used uh, other pellets like heavier ones, and it it puts it down to like a 13 foot pound gun, or it's only putting out 13 foot pounds of energy, but it's definitely 15. So, but there you have it. Uh, if you can find one try this out i'm gonna try to do a video on this uh shooting just to kind of show you the accuracy usually uh if you see those two little stake 
stakes on the ground. That's about 30, like 34 yards from here. I don't even bother at 25 yards. It's not even a challenge with this rifle. But at 34, you stretch it out just a little bit, you know, and I got a 100-yard uh, gong out there, and I got some little KYL targets over there. That's at 50 yards. Uh, I do got a 50-yard target hanging off that tree there also. Um, but I got I got plenty of room. I got a 400-meter target that's way out there past the trees and stuff that I, I use my other guns for. But... um this is uh like i said this rifle um it's definitely something worth giving some thought or if you want to add it to your collection i would say do it it's kind of unique and like i said i i really think the build quality is definitely a notch above gamo um it's just really really nice to shoot um but anyways uh there you have it all right thanks for watching